This is the first time we've ever done this at the Edmonton Expo. We have a couple other expos in Western Canada. We've been really lucky to do one in Saskatoon, and we were desperate to do one in Edmonton. It was a huge success. We couldn't be happier. We hear all the time from fans who have come to Canada or have learned English um, because they saw something on TV. So whether it's learning English from watching old episodes of Star Trek or, or whatever. There's even people in our office who are new to Canada who ended up learning English and becoming familiar with our country through pop culture. So for us, it seemed like a totally natural fit. We're an office of people who are uh, new to Canada and completely embracing of new cultures. And we were super, super honored that they decided to host one with us. Because when I was little, I was watching Star Trek episodes. And then when I that was like my dreamland, you know, and I came to Canada and I realized that this is my Star Trek. That's what I said to myself when I landed in Canada. I was like, so diverse, so beautiful. And then for him to mention it, it was sort of like a tying it all together, my childhood, my arrival to Canada, up to the citizenship ceremony. When you are uh, building a life, uh, when you're building a world, uh, being able to uh, become citizens at an event that is focused around the idea of building worlds, quite literally, uh, defining realities. It's a, a really wonderful opportunity. Neither of our uh, native countries would have us at the time when we got married. It was a difficult journey for us, and we had to travel when we lived in the United States, several states, in order to be able to get married. And then when we came back to our home state, we weren't, we weren't recognized. And Canada was the only country that would have us. So we're so incredibly grateful. Thank you so much.